During late 19th century, photography was considered as a purely technical process that of recording visible image by light, action, and light-sensitive materials. In fact, its very name where it comes from reference photo, meaning light, and graphos, meaning writing, that states this process literally. Unlike the other highly regarding forms of art, such as painting and sculpture, photography was not considered as art. However, the 20th century photographers elevated this light writing to an aesthetic form in its own right. As a result of the fast pacing technology, digital photography came as a wonderful addition to many Filipino photographers. Photographers captured their memorable, easiest, and faster, and shared their print, correct, and even alter images. They found a new opportunity to express themselves, to discover colors and light, and to change the way they produce and look at images. Naturality Philippine Photography From personal to professional, to national and to global, Filipinos have joined the rest of the world in experiencing the wonders of modern photography. And since our country has its own natural beauty, a number of local photographers have taken on the Philippines and our people as major focus of their lenses. Among these are John K. Chua and George Tapan. George Tapan George Tapan is an award-winning travel photographer who has won two Pacific Asia Tourism Association Gold Awards, an ASEAN Tourism Association Award, and first place in the 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. His highly acclaimed work has been published in five travel photography books. He started out as a photographer for movie posters, shooting movie stills for several local film studios. John K. Chua John K. Chua is a photographer with more than 40 years of experience in photography. John K. Chua is a very prominent name in the world of adventure and advertising photography in the Philippines with numerous local and international awards for his work. At the same time, he has applied his photo artistry to showcasing the beauty of the Philippines. Film or cinema, another art form which has risen to tremendous heights within the last century is film or cinema. Form, formerly known as motion pictures, film brought yet another dimension into play, that of moving images. The possibilities of this medium created a new art form that was to become a powerful social and economic force and a legacy of 20th century to the world. Philippine filmmakers in the Philippine film screen, the American influence was evident in the pre World War II and liberation years with the song and dance musicals, romantic dramas, and comedy films. Beginning with the turbulent 1970s, however, progressive Filipino directors emerged to make movies dealing with the current social issues and examine the Filipino character. Lino Bracca was a radical filmmaker whose films explored the sentiments of the marginalized and ignored sectors of Filipino society. Bracca took his social activist spirit to the screen leaving behind 66 films which breathed life and hope for the marginalized sectors of society, slum dwellers, prostitutes, construction workers, etc. He received awards and recognition from the different award-giving bodies both local and international including the CCP, FAMAS, TOYM, and Cannes Film Festival. Some of his films include, Tinimbang Khan Ginikulong, 1974, Minila Sa Mga Kuko in Luanag, 1975, Insiang, 1976, Bona, 1980. He was awarded National Artist for Film Slash Broadcast Arts. Mike De Leon. Mike De Leon is a notable Filipino film director, cinematographer, scriptwriter, and film producer. De Leon's film mirrored in Filipinos consequences that sought answers for questions on social class belonging, political absurdities, and fragmentations in various forms. 
his major full-length work was A Team or Black in 1976. It was an in-depth study of guilt and violence and showed the Leon's delicate balancing of cinematic elements to project mood and character. Some work of Mark De Leon include Sister Stella L from 1984 and Bionic Third World from 1999. Gatay, 2009. The story is centered on a criminology student named Coco Martin who accidentally joined the syndicate to make enough money for his family and get involved in murder and dismembering of an earring drugs dealer. American Adobo, 2002. The story revolves around a group of Filipino American friends who regularly gather in their adopted homeland to savor their native cuisine to check in with each other and to find out what a real friendship is and where true love lies. Mario J. De Los Reyes Magnifico 2003 is about Ikoi, who is gifted boy with a good heart and spirit that allows him to give joy to hopeless people and transform their lives for the better. In conclusion, Photography has evolved over time with the development of new technology and techniques, and today, it is widely used in many different fields including journalism, advertising, fashion, art, and science. Photography can be done with a variety of cameras, ranging from simple point-and-shoot cameras to high-end digital SLR cameras. The photographer can control various aspects of the image, such as the composition, exposure, focus, depth of field, and lighting to create a desired effect. Post-processing software can be used in further refine and manipulate the image. Here are some samples of our shots to show that we use this art in our photography.